Hi, I'm Lara Arifin and I'm the president of Rimao. And I'm Harun Rahman, I'm the project lead. We are the winners of the Star Golden Hearts Award 2024. The Malayan tiger today is critically endangered. The National Tiger Survey that was conducted between 2016 and 2020 indicated there were less than 150 Malayan tigers left in the rainforests of Malaysia. What would it say about us as Malaysians if we lost the animal that sits on our national crest? Fearing for the future of the Malayan tiger, Lara Arifin and Harun Rahman, a husband and wife team of documentary filmmakers, took action to make a difference. Established in 2018, Rimau takes on the formidable challenge of not only reversing the decline in Malayan tiger numbers, but also igniting a national movement to save this iconic species. To date, Rimau has made a remarkable impact in areas such as the Royal Bellum State Park, Amanjaya and Korbu. The biggest threat to tigers is poaching because every part of the tiger is in demand. So for Rimau, what we wanted to do was to put anti-poaching efforts in the jungle to basically help the government in the efforts to save the Malayan tiger. Rimau, together with the Orang Asli community, is racing against time to bring the Malayan tiger back from the brink of extinction. For us, working with local communities is extremely important because you cannot have successful conservation efforts without the buy-in of the local community. And together we set up the team called the Munra team. And the Munra means the people in the Jahai language. So we established initially a team of only five patrollers in Royal Balum, but now we have 30 patrollers in Royal Balum, and we have extended our work not only to Royal Balum, but to Amanjaya and into Korbu as well. Rimau's unique approach involved empowering the Orang Asli the indigenous people of peninsular Malaysia. At the heart of this is transforming young Orang Asli into skilled patrollers and guardians of their ancestral forests. These patrollers, equipped with technology like GPS devices and satellite phones, detect and deter illegal poachers threatening the Malayan tiger. My role as a project team lead for Rimau is basically to oversee all the teams that we have in uh, the three landscapes that we work in in Belom, in Amanjaya, and in Korbu. So I basically set the overall uh, policy and I work with the coordinators quite closely. They in turn work with the patrollers. So usually what, we, uh, what I do is do a lot of planning and I also do a lot of training as well. So I train the, the boys in uh, smart protocols. When they do an observation in the, in the forest, when they see any animal tracks or any human signs, they record. and. They have to record it properly in a particular uh, protocol so that it can be used in the nationwide smart uh, database. Camera traps are also set up to determine the condition of the forest and the condition of the animals in the wild. We also do what we call wildlife monitoring where we set up camera traps. The camera traps help us because we leave the cameras for months and months and we can see whether the population of tiger prey is problematic, or if they, we see a tiger is uh, in trouble, then we alert the authorities and we try to take action. One of the significant challenges Harun faces is bridging the gap between traditional knowledge and technological literacy among the Orang Asli patrollers. One of the biggest challenges is actually teaching the Orang Asli how to do all the signs. Uh, the signs have to be quite exact. And when a patroller doesn't know how to read and write, they can be very challenging. But we teach them how to do this, and we teach them how to read and write what they need. But for somebody who can't read and write, that's a mountain to climb. And they have basically climbed a very, very tall mountain. One of the young patrollers, 24-year-old Kevin Dali from the Samai tribe, said he wants to guard the forest and see the wildlife thrive. Sebelum ni pun masuk hutan tapi tak adalah sampai jauh sangat. Masuk pun dah dalam berapa ratus meter macam tu. Okay, masuk dengan 
tim ranger ni pun boleh ram, sampai 2-3 kilo dalam hutan tu okay, pentingnya nak buat kerja ni sebab nak jaga hutan kurangkan pemburu masuk hutan lah. sebab nak tengok sebelum ni pun haiwan-haiwan semua dah pupur lah. Dan kalau boleh masuk kerja ni pun nak tengok binatang-binatang semua ada dalam ni lah. Besides providing a steady job for the Orang Asli community, Rimau has also set up a community fund component which makes it different from other NGOs. I think for us it's important to see the work that we do as more holistic and not just, you know, the patrolling work. One of the things that Rimau does is that we have a community fund component to our program. So basically for every day the patroller works, 10 ringgit is put into the community fund where it can be shared and the benefits are shared with the whole community. So whether it's for education or for health or sometimes it's an emergency and they need the money uh, and we, we help them uh, with that. Lara's vision extended beyond conservation, fostering a national consciousness around the tiger's plight. She passionately argued for a whole-of-nation approach emphasizing that it cannot just rest on the shoulders of the Wildlife Department or the Forestry Department, but requires a comprehensive collective effort. There is still a lot of work to be done. We are nowhere near uh, being able to say that the Malayan tiger is safe. And one of the important things for me is that this requires a whole-of-nation approach. It cannot be just Jabatan Perilitan or the Forestry Department. We need all the government departments to work together we need all the NGOs to come together. We need the foundations to come together. So we need to put all our efforts in to making sure that they have a future here. Winning awards is about getting the message heard. Many people still don't know about the plight of the Malayan tiger. And I think this is one way for more Malaysians to understand you know, that the Malayan tiger is in crisis. And I think with the award, that we can help share this information out to a bigger audience. Happy 10th anniversary, Star Golden Hearts Award. Wow!